All right, so let's talk about Google AI. Why? Um, I actually have the voice kit, um, but I never really played with it. Um, what I find more interesting is this uh, visual vision kit. Um, <laughs> And actually, the the thing I found most interesting uh, initially is I didn't I didn't realize uh, that there's actually all all the image recognition or or the classification rather is done local to the device um, and and just to kind of prove that I guess um, well let me step back. When, when you first get the AIY kit, it it is running a joy detection feature. So, like I I like to pick on Dave Jones because he's such a emotional guy. But you can see here, uh, as I'm scrolling through the images, the emotional uh, uh, response whether people are neutral or happy or joyful um, is changing in real time uh, based on this LED. And there's probably output I could get to figure out which emotions are being uh, expressed. Uh, but yeah, that you know, if I cover up the faces, it doesn't doesn't see anything and then you know if I throw my terminal up there oops yeah then it just doesn't classify anything um, so anyway the the services are are modern um, so you can stop you can stop the joy service and pretty much um, they've got a bunch of I don't know examples but one one of my favorite things to do is to munge together the image classification uh, along with internally I have some some scripts that uh, listen to a, a multicast receiver um, and here I'll just give you an idea what's going on here so this uh, this the standard oops standard image classification example that they have there but I'm only outputting one object so if you run this uh, all by itself what essentially happens once it warms up kind of takes a second I guess to program the board that is doing the the uh, classification so now it's just spewing out results uh, only one result along with the probability of that result um, so I'm guessing since we just do have done one we've asked for one result you can ask for I think it defaults to three but you could um, you could ask for four and just say you know give me your four best results from the from the data set of what you think things are um, so now it's spewing out a lot of unlikely things uh, but you can see it mostly knows it's looking at a computer screen right now um, and if we point it to a bunch of junk on my desk you know we'll get essentially different results um, so essentially um, I, I have a another little um, Just something I use internally is um, I long long ago, and this this actually this uh, this code was right out of uh, a decent networking C book or something. Um, but I, I used to do a lot of multicast shit back in the day um, for video, and so this is just a little multicast sender, and all all this allows me to do is send shit over multicast and then I have a a corresponding listener so like if we use this and we run this 
So now on my local machine, um, I can run the uh, multi cloud listener. Oops. Excuse me, the receiver. Um, and we just essentially give it the same address, I think. And the port. There we go. So now, if we uh, if we type something here, type something. Then it lands over here. Now, the type something that was just said. Let me make sure y'all heard that. The message below. <laughs> yeah. So okay. So wired in wired in to this side, I have. Uh, <laughs> this is something I do commonly. Uh, God, where the fuck did it go? Okay, yeah, yeah. Here we go. So, okay. So then I have um, I have this really weird uh, script, which looks like this. Oops, cat. Yeah. Actually, let's just let's just look at this. So, oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, still adjusting here. Um, so I have I have this script, which really it's just taken uh whatever comes out of this multicast receiver. <laughs> line by line um, and I, what I've done here is I've turned off uh, any standard buffering um, this is a little this is a little ditty that just ensures that nothing here gets buffered line by line uh, through this pipe right here and then I read each line and I open up a, a file lock um, and then I run my little text to speech and I read that line. And meanwhile, uh, because of this F lock, uh, any, any lines that come out while we're sitting here reading, um, will just be ignored essentially. So what, what that really means is that we read, we don't block on reads. We don't queue them up, but we, just continuously read whatever's available in the buffer next. So when you run this script, um, what you end up with is a, a little listener. So we do Swift listen. Uh, Swift is, I'm, I'm using, uh, I should give them props. Uh, let's see. Opts. Swift, because I get Swift confused with the object storage. Um, oh, what the fuck is their name? They really shouldn't have named this that. Oh, crap. That's not good either. That's just more obfuscation. Here we go. Sepstral, yeah. So Sepstral uh, is a text-to-speech system that actually works for Linux, and you can get a bunch of different voices. Um, I pay for this for my personal stuff because I do a lot of text-to-speech, but uh, Sepstral will run on ARM processors as well, and I think they have a few um, voices for ARM, not as much as they do for... Uh, for x86 but then they also have uh well they have quite a few voices um i really need to to get some more voices um i used to use this a lot for uh uh all of my uh workflow for for marring uh free node and you know irc shit like that 
Um, so anyway, yeah, that that guy will block, and then uh, and then here, what I've got going on here is um, this is this AIY host is my uh, is Google is the is the the Raspberry Pi with the Google Google guts in it and I'm monitoring for it talking to anything on the internet and because it, like they, they don't even state like the project reads really well uh, in terms of like the setup and and there's an app that also comes with it which really is just leveraging Bluetooth on uh, the Raspberry Pi to set up the initial configuration um, and I don't I don't really know what else the app does uh, it probably does other things but but the point is you get a pre-installed SDK with a bunch of Python and this is my local machine where I'm, I'm actually SSH'd into the box so we ignore any anything that is coming from my box so here's a TCP dump so that way we're listening on on everything that the Google voice kit is doing in terms of network um, so yeah so then we we fire up try to do that Swift yeah so let's fire up the Swift listener and that'll get us our local text-to-speech from that multicast address and then now derp so here's our little sender Sender. So we can hear that. Now uh, let's put it all together and we're just going to make this thing watch YouTube. So he's, it takes a little while for this guy to fire up. Screen. Website. Website. <laughs> Website. But we're fired Website. up. Website. Scoreboard. Scoreboard. Oops. Scoreboard. Monitor. Monitor. Yeah. Monitor. Yeah. Monitor okay, scoreboard, scoreboard, website, so it's sure like scoreboard, it knows we're website. At a website, website, so website, some website, monitor, Hi, hard disk, hard disk, CD player, CD player, hard disk, CD player, CD player, CD player, laptop. Monitor After the stage scale shopping toy. basket Here's paintbrush a lot of website look like altar <laughs> fountain stage stage altar hard disk rubber eraser uh, laptop <laughs> laptop <laughs> television right, monitor up. website monitor monitor okay, so monitor 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 website monitor Website, Although website, Trudeau's running website, monitor, no. website, no. monitor, website, Where did it go? monitor, monitor, website, website, monitor, <laughs> website, go? website, monitor, website, website, <sighs> website, monitor, website, oh, website, website, monitor, <sighs> monitor, 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 monitor. Website, website, monitor, website, 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 no. monitor, website, 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 monitor, website, monitor, website, monitor, website, 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 website website it was going website, so well website monitor 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 we'll kill it oh my god what a disaster so what happened here i just lost which terminal i'm actually running it in Is that is that my OBS? I think that's my OBS. <laughs> Sorry. That's what you get. 
to watch me dig through all my shit. There's probably like I'm thinking I minimized it. Oh, what a pain in the ass. Still not warmed up to uh to uh genome three fully here. There's the image AMI. <sighs> I think that's it. What's that? No, that's me debugging. Oh no, that's my that's my power. Oh Jesus fucking Christ. Well that went horribly long uh, wrong, so two three hundred. Yeah, it's that guy. Oh, derp. I'm in dumbass. All right. Kill all receiver standard. Let's see. Oh my god. All right. So anyway, I think I think I just lost that terminal when I minimized things. Um okay. So let's go let's go to YouTube. youtube.com and let's see if we can find our so here's our TCP dump. And here is our dude. All right, so we're going to watch YouTube. And what was that? Just look at this TCP dump. Oh, yeah, OK. That was just a, our ARP request. Yeah, so this thing, it's really not talking out to the world to do any of this recognition. It's loading that entire object classification system into its little brain. Um, and then we need to fire up our Swift listen. Swift Listen. Website. Okay. Website. 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 So let's Website. For funny. Website. 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 Uh, Website. No, Website. Website. Funny Website. YouTube. Website. Here we go. Website. That looks good. Television. Monitor. Monitor. Screen. Monitor. Oh, I got some Monitor. Right way. Monitor. Home theater. Monitor. 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 Laptop. Television, <laughs> swimming trunks, laptop, horizontal bar, bathing cap, laptop, car mirror, laptop, bath this. towel, mortar screen. bird, iPod, paddle, 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 canoe, platypus, speedboat, lemon, rock beauty, oxygen mask, bathing cap, syringe, Jellyfish, matchstick, hand blower, band aid, band aid, bathing cap, lipstick, drumstick, parallel bars, reel, paddle, swimming trunks, sturgeon, droll, Chesapeake Bay Retriever, bathtub, shower curtain, television, sliding door, window shade, bassoon. Shoji, 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 Dumble, Horizontal Bar, Horizontal Bar, Window Shade, Sliding Door, Shower Curtain, Sliding Door, Umbrella, Punching Bag, Unicycle, King Crab, American Lobster, Feather Boa, Crayfish, American Lobster, Neck Brace, Granny Smith, <laughs> Spaghetti Squash, Cash Machine, Bookcase, Snorkel, Snorkel, Swimming Trunks, 
remote control, home theater, television, dumble, iron, swimming trunks, swimming trunks, monitor, 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 cash machine, screen, theater curtain, television, spotlight, parallel bars, sturgeon, canoe, theater curtain, cash machine, car mirror, bubble, wardrobe, wardrobe, monitor, cash machine, lipstick, stage, fur coat, fur coat, accordion, book jacket, television, pan pipe, ping pong ball, ping pong ball, stage, stage, spotlight, spotlight, guillotine, lighter, spotlight, ladybug, comic book, comic anyway, book, you get stage, the point. basketball, monitor, monitor, <clears throat> monitor, you can actually monitor, see. monitor, 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 menu. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, like, I mean, uh, I did, uh, I, I've fooled around with object classification. Um, and it's mostly been uh, really expensive. <laughs> um, but what a great uh, what a great barrier to entry uh, to get into object classification. And it's all it's all Python. So like I I don't know. I I think I wish Google sold these things. Um, with uh i i wish they just sold sold the board by themselves cuz what you have here is a just a raspberry pi a raspberry pi camera and in between the camera and the and the actual raspberry pi is just a little board and that has a little chip in it that happens to run I'm gonna rip this box apart. It happens to run all the uh, TensorFlow. I think it's got a special TensorFlow chip in it. So the the object classification that I've done in the past um, is with YOLO, and it's all uh, CUDA based. And doing you know real time classification um, of like 1080p streams. I, I actually picked that up or learned about that whole YOLO project um, from Scamline. If you haven't checked out her videos, you should because she does some amazing, amazing stuff. But that sent me in a month long or more sort of endeavor into doing object classification because one, one of the things is that I get a lot of false positives from the like any kind of motion capture or like video, you know, be it security cameras or or in my case bear cameras and raccoon cameras like um just tons of false positives. Um but with a a camera system looking up my driveway and only looking for vehicles or only looking for things that it was 80% sure about the classification of um, immediately rules out things such as rain, fog, you know, just crap that normally cause false positives or just movement in general. Um, and you can limit the, the objects to, you know, just things that you're interested in. So yeah, that's probably my next step with this. I I noticed uh, the code. Like I just started looking at this crap again, and um, let's see what what was that using? Yeah, this image classification camera system. Um, Berg. Oh, it's from the other month. <laughs> sure. 
Yeah, so the only options that are thrown in this uh, are the number of frames, which I guess, you know, if you just want to classify a quick capture. Um, I'm more interested in real time, so I never use this flag. Um, and then the number of objects. And I'm actually only interested in objects if the confidence is really high. So, you know, down here, uh, it's actually printing, well, it's it's taking each of the objects and um, and appending them together with a pipe and, you know, and then printing it all out. So I guess, like, kind of what I'm interested in is, you know, if, uh, uh, did object already get, or did probability, no, really didn't. One. Yeah, so I only want to plus equal this stuff. Uh, like if probability is greater than, say, 0.8, then we'll do this. Is that good enough? Nah. Oh, come on. Oh, cause I, sorry. Don't Python. I don't anything. Like I, I mean, I can barely. So the this it always takes a little while um, for the for the thing to get warmed up. So like it's literally warming up. I think once the light comes on is when it's doing the classification. Which while that's happening, you can view this light. I gotta let my cat in. Hi, kitty. <laughs> it's getting cold out. Oh, we're probably just not getting any results that are any good. Or or I just broke it completely. The light's not on. All right, this isn't good. Let's see what happened here. Yeah. S is not equal to some, yeah so it just doesn't print anything all right let's then let's try maybe it's not that certain I know I should make this like an option I just am stupid and also I didn't want to actually spend much time on this I just wanted to do a proof of concept yeah so tarantula great fucking great yeah so things like keyboard yeah yeah so the confidence isn't that huge right and I'm assuming uh, like with with the yellow stuff I was getting a really high degree of confidence so now now it's viewing my screen monitor there we go there's some pretty high confidence um, can look at my oscilloscope. Sometimes it gets that. I can't really see it. Uh, my cat is loving life right now. Cathode ray oscilloscope. There we go. Um, still not crazy high. But the the thing is, there's so many. Like this is such a huge uh, data set for such a small little low powered box. Pinwheel. That's pretty damn close. Earlier, I thought this was a telephone. So let's point it at me. Nah. If my cat were here, I'd point it at my cat. Um, 
igniter seatbelt. So I guess my point is though, there's tons to be had in in playing around with this Python. Um, Google also has docs about uh, creating your own uh, data sets. So kind of what's on the table next for me probably is um, to uh, maybe teach this thing my uh, teach this thing cars, especially my cars, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, probably have it keep an eye on my garage. Um, and then I've never seen it classify like a general person, like like. Uh, kind of weird like you can it, certainly with the joy detector it finds people really quickly so like if I stop if I stop this thing and we just fire up the uh, the joy detector again which I think we can just run that here I think you can just run it like that um, so again this takes a second for it to rev up now it's doing face detection. So, yeah. So now it's now it's hot. You can't really see. This is blue, because I'm pretty much whatever blue is. And if I smile, it's a, you know it changes. But the point is, uh, I guess as soon as you cover my face, it doesn't do anything, right? But but it seems to detect a person like I'm just mounting this <laughs> my cat is going nuts if I just mount this uh, ugh, in this thing and I you know I can be pretty far away and it detects me so it it's actually like a pretty good person detector if it sees your face um, but I'm sure there's a way at least based on the performance I've seen it it seems like there's gonna be a way to either you know reduce the model the object set that that you want to deal with to get more stuff uh, <sighs> Yeah, because I don't care if there if it's a a Toshi or whatever the whatever the hell Google was talking about. I don't care about all the really low confidence stuff. But what a great little device for doing like general classification, uh, especially for things that might matter to you, like vehicle. You want a solid driveway alarm. You know, you want multiple things motion detection but then backing up with some sort of object classification uh, makes a lot of sense um, and it's certainly better <clears throat> like you know you can roll your own system that's better than than any system you can buy so uh, yeah Google AI why I wish the vision kit came with more shit and I do recommend digging into it and if anybody has experience messing with it or wants to share any of the things they've done I I sure would love to hear about it because um, I really haven't had time and I'm just just trying to get around to it so I might I might mess with it tonight but I just wanted to share quickly a video <laughs>